Hello and welcome to Rounding in Excel. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this short video, we're gonna talk about several different ways to round a cell's value. Exercise one. Now before we talk about formulas, we need to talk about rounding in general. Rounding a value through a formula is different than simply changing the displayed value through formatting. In other words, these two values look like they're the same, but when I change the cell's formatting, I can see that these are different values. So changing the displayed value by changing the formatting is different than rounding through a formula. Because when we round through a formula, that rounded value flows into subsequent formulas. So depending on what you're working on, you may just want to simply change the formatting, but depending on what you're working on, especially if these values are used in subsequent formulas, then you're gonna to wanna to use the rounding functions. So the first function we wanna talk about is round equals round. And there's two arguments. The first is the number that you want to round. The second is the number of digits. Zero would provide whole numbers. Enter. And so now we can see that this value is rounded to the nearest whole number. Now, if we change this second argument to let's say two, now we're gonna get two decimals. And we can also go to the other side of the decimal point. So if we were to do minus three, now it's gonna to go to the nearest thousand. So zero is whole numbers, positive values round to the right of the decimal, and negative values round to the left of the decimal. Let's go to the next exercise, exercise two. The round function rounds up or down as needed, but in this exercise, we're gonna look at ways to force it to always round up or to always round down. And as you may guess, those functions are called round up and round down. Equals round up, once again, we point to the cell value, comma, and then the number of digits. We're gonna go with zero, close function, and enter. And that's gonna round up. And if we want to force it to round down, we can point it to this value and go zero, close function, and enter. And it's gonna force it to round down. So those are two additional options. So depending on what you're working on, they may be helpful. Exercise three. Now, instead of rounding to the number of digits, we can also round to the nearest multiple. Let's say we always wanted to round to 0.25 or 0.50 or 0.05. We can do that with the M round function equals M round. Okay, so here's the number comma and then the nearest multiple. So if we did 25, it's gonna round it to the nearest 25. And if we go with 101, it's gonna round it to 100. And if we go to 99, it's gonna round it to 100. We can also say let's round it to the nearest like 0.50, all right? So that would be 99.72 is gonna be rounded to 99.50. Or we could go with 100.05 and that's gonna round it to 100. So our multiples can be expressed as integers or as decimal values. So depending on what you're working on, this may come in handy as well. All right, in this short video, my goal is to walk through several of Excel's rounding functions. Hey, thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 